Over the past few months, I put about 17,000 miles on my truck. And the pile over here represents how many sets of spark plugs I've already gone to. I've gone through the original set that came with the truck, which are the SP550s. Then I went and tried a set of SP542s without any proper gapping as they come from the box. Then I went back to an SP550. Then I went and tried the NGK6510, which are the equivalent of the SP542 with the proper gapping. And I got those from my buddy Adam at Tune Plus. And today I'm going yet for another set. And these are the SP542s and they're properly gapped at 0.028. And we will show you in just a few uh, some of the mistakes I've learned from my first time I changed the plugs until today. So I always start with your set of tools you need. Over here I already have the engine cover removed, otherwise you would need a 10 millimeter socket. You're gonna need an eight millimeter socket with a small extension to remove the coal packs. And you need a 5 8 spark socket. I like to have a little swivel and a couple of different extensions so I can easily reach it. And at the very end, when you put your spark plug in, you want to make sure you have a torque wrench that will allow you to go to between, recommended is between 11 and 13, and I'm going with 13 foot pounds. All right, I always start with cylinder one plug as it's the closest to me on the driver side, on the passenger side. Eight millimeter socket, you remove the bolt. I do them one to one. So I remove the coal pack, I put it aside. And I put in my 5.8 spark plug socket and break it up. So the first time I did this, I put anises, and I guess I put a little too much. I got happy putting it on. And I've learned later that you really don't want to use any at all. Some people will tell you use a teeny bit of dab at the very end of the thread, but then again, how much is too much, too little? So I just decided to use none. And it comes out. And this is about 5,500 miles. It looks perfect. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And a lot of people ask me, why am I changing the plugs? One of the answers could be because I can. And the second is because I'm testing the difference between the NGKs and the SP542s to see if there's any difference in performance at all. So the first thing I'm doing with this whole test is to see if the NGK, since these are gapped from 0.041 down um, to 0.028, if 5,000 miles would you know, cause them to go back up. And in fact, they did not. They're sitting right at 0 0.028 uh, with use in testing and hard runs and dyno runs and uh, fine tuning as well. Here you see the NGK that I took out and the new SP542s gapped at 0.028. And they're put side by side just so you could see very subtle differences if there are any that you can spot. All right, so as you see, I'm putting this in with no NICs. I'm just gonna put it in straight by hand. Always tighten by hand first. All right, so what I do here is after I hand put this in, I just put the socket on it, and if it doesn't turn, I'll leave it alone. And then I put my torque wrench on top. So this is set at 13, and that's it. That's all it needs. And that spark plug on this side is changed, done, and the only thing left to do is to reinstall the coal pack, Squeeze it on real nice, take the bolt, put it back on. And this side is complete. Now I'm gonna do the rest of these exactly the same way until it's completed. 
All right guys, the job took about 30 minutes. I've done it a few times. So if you, if it's your first time you're doing it, it shouldn't take you more than 45 minutes at all. Don't pay someone to get your spark plugs done. Do it yourself. Uh, I enjoy doing that quite a bit. We got uh, quite a bit going on with this truck. We just threw some icons on there. Uh, Theron Fab is working on revalving the rear shocks with the new springs. So we're gonna keep you guys posted. There are more videos coming up. We're also going to be featuring Tyson's truck with his new Rogue Bolt kit. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or contact me. I will leave my contact information below. Thank you, have a good day.